All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, getting into game number one of a brand new best of three. This is heading into the round of eight. At this point, it's getting pretty close to uh, the money as well. Let's not forget, top four people in these weekly tournaments are getting paid out in cash prizes. Spawning in the top left, though, playing for... Oh, gosh, is that French team whose name I never pronounced correctly? Nuit Blanche. Nuit Blanche. It is out. Something like that. In the bottom left, as the Yellow Terran, it is my insanity's Botvinnik. So folks in chat are asking who is Paucho, by the way, because they're still looking at the bracket, like, kind of surprised that... You know, uh, he defeated Sulky. And, again, Paucho is a player we had never really heard of. He wasn't on our radar. We got to see him for the G2A Cup last Monday. And it was, like, the first time ever. And he was not a bad player. Do not get me wrong. But he had some really cool, unique builds. Some cheese up his sleeve. For him to beat Sulky, you guys have to understand, there's a couple of things playing against Sulky as well. And I'm not trying to diminish his accomplishment. Congratulations to him. But... Solgi is playing from Korea to Europe, the worst possible latency setup in the world. It's also like 4 a.m. in Korea. I doubt Solgi woke up early for yeah. this cup. 3 a.m. So, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate for poor Solgi, but really nice for Poucher because you know whether that win was like quote unquote well deserved or not. Like that's that's a huge ego and confidence boost. I beat Solgi. How many people can say that? Not many. <laughs> not innovation. <laughs> oh, oh, zombie oh. grub. I made myself feel bad. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure you beat him in a couple other things, but that's, you know, whatever. And she is so finals. <clears throat> uh, the rest of the bracket is uh, full of familiar faces as well, though. I mean, it, it's it's not the ones that we'd, I guess, really expect in the final. <laughs> it's like the biggest hat in the universe. Oh, I was like, I didn't even see what you're the hell you were doing. I thought you were looking at the, the buzzing, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's nope. pretty cool. <laughs> okay. It's um, actually kind of hard. Like, if you don't look at your mini map, that's a hard thing to see. That's it really is. TIL, a great place to hide your SCV for scouting. Yeah. Um, but as I was saying, this is like this reminds me of that Alima League where we had like two finalists that were just like out of nowhere. Like, what are you doing here? Uh, but this European timed cup has, of course, at least one more Korean in it. But also, it doesn't have Snoot, Nurchio, Bly playing in it at all actually much less in the finals uh, that reminds me yeah because snoot had actually signed up um it was really sad to see him not check into play yeah yeah it was a little sad but i guess it's it's also cool to see um relative like that new blood of course we've seen all these names before like they're familiar as far as brackets go but actually raking it to the round of four is pretty cool yeah i mean <laughs> starcraft 2 as well the players like bot Finnick and others on the rise they need new blood to kind of Start replacing some of the pros that have fallen off, some of the pros that don't play anymore, or have just straight retired. But um, again, Bafnik has had two really great series versus Protoss already. Now, as we get into this third one, five Marines, six Marines get across the map, and this adept really can't fight them. There's a reason Art's playing so scared with it. Oh. Now, the Mothership Core is threatening because he doesn't know where the Photon Overcharge is going to hit. He's going to try and pressure the Robo. The Immortal yeah. should be able to deal with this, though, right? But, like, this is insane that that was in danger of possibly going down. And he still wants some Mothership Core. The Photon Overcharge range has been reduced so drastically that she has to be very careful. A few more probes going to go down. Just the one. But this is this is not a this... lot of pressure. This is six Marines. Well, what I like about this, too, is this is not a situation where you had a, a player dedicate so much to those six Marines that their macro slipped behind this. Bot Phoenix production's been picking up. His SCV production's been great. I mean, this attack... It didn't accomplish game-ending damage, but at the end of the day, it scared the crap out of Art. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Um, that's also, like, that's been a maneuver that has gotten, uh, you know, more than a couple of kills, as we've seen so far in PvPs. It's also been one that <laughs> scouts really reliably. Like, it's surprising how much they're 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 not going to be able to stop you from just sending six, seven Marines into oh, their main base. What am I into oh, the main? Oh, distraction. He's too busy looking uh, at the front, so boom, oh, boom. Damn. Oh my god, 12 probes go down. Almost half Ooh. the workers. Uh, I do want to note, before anyone starts to be like, what league is this guy? Art is uh, Grandmaster. Yes. He's perfectly fine. He's good. But Bofinic has just been showcasing a whole new level of uh, TP TVP, certainly, since we've seen him versus Harsim. It seems to be one of the matchups that he's very, very comfortable with. And very good with, but this this all lane might still just work from Art. He has a proxy gateway set up, ready to warp in those fast warp ins. Supply people only buys so much time. It's actually more like Bafnix got to hope that Art waits for that gateway to finish and for the warp ins to uh to happen here, so we can get a second bunker. But uh, almost a full run already on that bunker. 
the one bunker that's alive. The force fields are. Focus fired. I was gonna say the force fields are great, but the SCV coverage is better. Botanic really slips in there. Take up all the sentries, and that's just not like the, the not? mortals by themselves. Like there's no, Some? there's no money here for art. <laughs> Twenty one probes. He only just cleaned up the wood mines, too. I just noticed they got two more shots while that was going yeah. on, so two more probes went down. Botvinik locking down that first game here in this best of three in the round of eights. Very nice. I mean, wood mine drops we all know are difficult to deal with. There's, there's not even debating that from high to low tiers of the game. But that was just something where, really, he did a great job distracting. He said, look over here while he smacked him over there. Mm-hmm. But apparently, by the way, thank you to our admin Demski, says Art is a Polish newcomer Protoss, known for his unconventional play and weird build orders. Unfortunately, we oh. didn't get to see them in that game. You know, the uh, the immortal-based all-in is, is... It's not new, but it is unique. Not many people are doing that anymore. <laughs> I say that, and we just saw Kung Fu in the first round do it. But I swear, it's actually kind of rare. I guess Art was one of the Polish guys that our admin was talking about bringing in. Said he invited a lot of his, his friends. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck for competing. Uh, of course, it's loser's pick, so Art at least has the advantage of picking the next map. Yes, it's Ruins. All right. We're back. Hello, and welcome to the Corsair Cup. Game number two currently underway and spawning in the upper left side of Ruins of Ceres. We've got the Polish up-and-comer, Art. In the bottom right, as the Yellow Terran... It is Botanic. You know, speaking of Poland for a moment, like, there's a lot of different reasons I've wanted to go to Poland. You know, you, you see all these really cool media shots that get taken with IM Katowice and other big events. Uh, G2A actually had a Christmas party they had invited us to, then going to fly one of us out to, but it was unfortunately right when we were moving to Toronto, so it really sucked that we missed out on it. But I really, for if no other reason, want to go to Poland because I want to try, like, uh, this sounds almost silly to say, but like authentic pierogies, if that makes sense. Wow. Like the only pierogies I've ever had in my life are the ones you buy from like Costco, <laughs> put in the freezer. Like those are not yeah. authentic. Like let's be honest, those are like mass produced sure. and probably not as good as something fresh in a restaurant from Poland. So, my dad's side of the family is from Pittsburgh, um, and in Pittsburgh there's like a very big like Slovak Polish type community. Um, I just remember, like, most of my early childhood was going into, like, really tiny homes on, like, big, big hills. Or very steep. These tiny homes, they're all, like, mushed together. And then, like, these old, like, people with an accent, like, trying to feed me stuffed cabbages and pierogies and Polish cookies. And I, I only ever liked one of those things. <laughs> I hated pierogies. I don't eat the outside. And I hated stuffed cabbage. I'm not like, a fan of cabbage. I really hate pretty much every, like cabbage rolls, you know, anything like that. Not a fan. Yesterday was um, um, St. Patrick's uh, Day. Thank you, St. Patrick's Day, right? And uh, <laughs> my mom's side of the family is Irish. <laughs> so, uh, like, she was actually really disappointed that she couldn't make, like, the typical Irish meal or whatever, which is a um, um, cabbage and uh, corned beef. And I was like, thanks for not making it, Mom. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what the 14th of March was? Mm. Speaking of holidays. I could check. No. Uh, quick shout to Transit Stand for the 12 month reset. Oh, that's one year. Part two of 10, baby. Uh, you'll love this one. I didn't know. I learned it about it like the day of slash the day after, like because it was like midnight type thing. Uh, apparently, it was Steak and Blowjob Day. And I did oh. not think that was something that was a real thing until I Googled it's it. It's not. No, it, it actually is, which is kind of stupid. Like, it's obviously not a national holiday. You don't get a day off from work for it. But I thought this was, like, just somebody memeing on their Twitch channel. I didn't realize that this was actually, like, a bigger thing. Yeah, I still don't consider it that much of a big thing. Like, I, I understand well, what, I mean, what you thought. I mean, who you're with. <laughs> <laughs> I understand how you think it was, like, it was, like, a meme as opposed to something that, like, everyone would talk about. Like, you could actually bring this up to someone out in the open and they'd be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I still, like, I've only ever heard it used, like, if I'm talking to a group of friends or just outside and someone mentions it because it's an icebreaker, I suppose, as something that someone can all laugh about. And then the woman all go, nope. <laughs> So, okay, well, hang on. Sorry. Uh, real quick, Blink on the way. I didn't think you would actually be dedicated to this, but he sent up the pylon, so we might actually just yeah. see that Blink all in. But also, I was going to say, the thing about that day that makes no sense to me is like, okay, you get some meat in your mouth, then you get some more meat in your mouth. How excited are you? Like, that's too much meat. I'm sorry, but like... Well, you realize that, like, the, the woman's supposed to make the steak for the guy. I know, but my point of it is you combine the two. That's not obvious <laughs> right off the bat, 
right? Like I said, I googled Uh-oh. this time ago. I'll have you know, I learned about it. Oh, you but... thought it was like the reward was a stick? <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like you, you watch, like, again, this is not something See, I'd ever heard of prepare. until recently. Like, th- like, four days ago is when I heard about this for the first time, okay? I love how that's, that's, that's so much more fair. <laughs> like, it's like, the guy it's likes like to sit. When you're training like a dog, and you're like, okay, sit. Okay, now here's a treat. Oh, right? stop, like, stop, stop. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you see that? It's, this way, take it too far. Okay, well. Oh, my God. I'm just saying. I'd be, no, never mind. All right, so the attack is going to be commencing here very soon. And there's some tanks set up. This is kind of okay. I like the bunkers a lot more, though. The tanks have proven to be very unreliable when it comes to defending against stalkers. They get, like, a shot off in some instances. But the medevacs will be able to shuffle some of these around. There's liberators on the way. This really shouldn't work for art, I feel. I mean, against most players, I think it would. But the fact that Botvinnik recognized that this was the case so quickly, he yeah. defended perfectly for this. Yeah, and he's always been going for this two-base tank style. Um, so he's getting a third base like Quaker here. He's actually not going for two-base. But he, he started off with tanks. So like that's going to help you uh, protect you against oh, the pick it up. a little nice bit. Nice pickup. Very hot pickup there. And actually, we'll probably want to repair that if he's playing oh. soccer to disengage. We're going to try and get the bunker, but they have to disengage. And that's when you can repair the tank. If He was like one shot away, too. Like If one more soccer had been firing on that bunker, it very well may have gone down. But it repairs the tank, holds the front line, and Bofinic... Oh, this is where Terran really shines through, right? This is just Terran at its core. Healing units, stim pack, you name it. Like, they retain their units. Mm -hmm. So this trade-out is kind of hard. Art's pretty all in with this. There's no third base on the way. He stopped making probes. He's going to blink top of the tank, picks it up once again, and again! The stalkers are like one stalker shy of picking this off! So damn close in that bunker, and the Marines, of course, get just getting some free shots. So they try and focus fire the tanks. Once oh. again, you just repair those up, he, and they'll have to try again. He was trying to kill the Mothership Corps, and I like that, because that was the high ground vision. That was the capability to keep coming in and possibly threaten this base. But, again, tank is set up over here. Bunker is set up over here, and I really don't think Art's going to be breaking this anytime soon. Yeah, I... I... It's just getting more and more uh, solidified as the time goes on. Now, the one thing is that uh, Bothanik's counter won't be very strong. So if Art could go ahead and macro out of this, and he's going to try his, his, his gas geysers, he's getting a Dark Shrine, uh, he'll have some time. You know, first of all, it's a tank-based army right now, so it's going to take a while longer, and Ooh, he's going like to need to find a good position. And there's no stim or combat shields, and it's cross-spawn on ruins. Like, it is a long time to get to your base. Well, the tank shovels up to defend this. The blink's a little bit awkward, so they don't quite escape, but... <laughs> oh, she's gonna go. <laughs> that was a GG. Okay. I was kind of expecting it to be an S, like, for fuck's sake, not a good game. <laughs> but either way, well played out of Botvinnik, and this guy is proven to be quite the Protoss sniper zombie. Up three up and three down. Yeah. <laughs> I love Twitch. Twitch's reaction. I actually made the first use of that Twitch rechat feature recently when... I played my show match versus Jesse. I obviously couldn't see what chat was writing while we were playing. So I went back and watched it afterwards, and the rechat shows you everybody's reactions. Also, everyone making fun of my supply blocks. Just saying. <laughs> it, was, it was actually really cool. I've never used the chat rechat feature before. Oh, yeah, it's pretty useful. Her admin, by the way, messaged me during that game and said, You're 100% right about the authentic pierogies. These are awesome. Damn you! But okay, guys, now we move on to the semifinals. And I don't know which one we're going to do first, but we are going to cast both semifinals. Uh, I should probably message the admin, by the way. <laughs> or if you're just worried that it was a steak. <laughs> it's a steak. Shut the fuck up. Because I'm a vampire. Hey, it's vampire? Fuck you. At break, we'll see you guys in two minutes.